focused on the storm. Yeah, this one's all you. Let's fucking go, baby. I didn't see it. <laughs> An absolutely based but possibly clinically insane man just oh, reached the fifth of strength achievement Plunderkind, which is rewarded when you earn one million plunder in Plunderstorm. So this happened a few hours ago in the NA servers. A brave man going by the name of Solar Power reached this fit of strength for the 1 million plunder. Now this already looks like, of course, a massive uh, sink of time, especially for everyone who has been, you know, going around trying out the new mode by, you know, going solo, dying after a couple of minutes, realizing they made at best 500 plunder on a good day and realize, holy God, that's gonna take me 2000 games if I want to get this 1 million achievement. This man was able to reach this milestone in 8 days since Plunderstorm was active, so that is about 125,000 plunder achieved each day. And again, to the common mortal, if you're only earning about 500 per match, that would mean playing about 250 games per day. Now, even if you are, of course, dying just about quite early into the game, let's say 3 minutes into the match, or even upwards of 5 minutes into the match, to be able to get this amount of plunder in 250 games would have required you on the low end 8 hours per day of grind or upwards of 20 hours per day of grinding Plunderstorm. However, of course, when players go for this heavy of a grind, they try to min-max their strategies, and the strategy that was employed was, of course, to not play solo, but to play in a duo. Now, for starters, that's the first advantage you can gain in Plunderstorm if you are going just straight up for the plunder, because plunder in duo matches was just higher. You were just earning more plunder. Partly due to the logic that, of course, if you play with another guy next to you, every other player you are defeating, or every chest that you come by, you're going to have to essentially divide the plunder for two players. The massive advantage, but perhaps not so popular, is the fact that much of the plunder, sometimes almost as much or even more than you're actually earning from your placement, for example, comes from the plunder on the ground, the piles of plunder, especially after you defeat other players. There is tons, hundreds of plunder to pick up. Blizzard has caught up on this discrepancy. They have just recently, just a few hours ago, hotfixed Plunderstorm to give you 50% more plunder from the piles on the ground if you're playing solo, because it was so much more if you were playing in a duo. And then of course there is the fact that you kind of have to be good to get to the, you know, late placements, you know, top five most of the time, which also allows you to defeat more players who drop more piles of plunder that allows you to loot more and more plunder every match. So in reality, the average plunder per match was closer to somewhere around 3000 per game. So the 1 million required plunder went down to requiring about 330-ish games. Which divided by the 8 days Plunderstorm has been active, it's about 42 games per day. Now, considering, of course, his duo is quite good, so he's gonna go quite deep into every match, not just die 3 minutes in, the average match would be around 8 to 10 minutes for these 42 games per day required to reach the 125,000 daily plunder to reach 1 million plunder in 8 days. So with that average time, you would be put at a pretty casual 6 to 7 hours of grind every day. Now obviously, the reward itself, besides the bragging rights and the most extreme of achievement collecting, is mostly worthless, right? The plunderkind achievement itself, besides giving you an extra achievement for collecting the 1 million plunder, doesn't actually give you, surprisingly, we can say, doesn't actually give you a mount or a title or any extra additions cosmetic-wise, of course. It's just the achievement itself. All of the cosmetic rewards of the event are limited up to reaching 40 renown, which is significantly less plunder required. Which is also kind of funny because to him, reaching renown 40 literally took less than a day since it takes about 100,000 renown and he was earning 130,000 per day. That's pretty funny. Which is still, as we have seen recently, in plenty of showings, more than enough for lots of the player base to dislike this event, mostly because of the tying of cosmetic rewards behind a game mode which requires more than 5 minutes of effort. Apparently we have now grown into a situation where most of the players expect many of the, I guess, for fun or just 
casual activities to shower you in rewards with little to no effort, whether it is skill or whether it is time investment, apparently having absolutely pathetic events like the Hearthstone anniversary where you literally just AFK in a platform and wait for the loot to come to you with zero effort whatsoever is completely fine, but a game mode like Plunderstorm where you actually have to play the game for a while is apparently unacceptable. We technically also don't really know how long Plunderstorm is going to last. The voices going around is about six weeks or just in short until the release of season four. Renown 40 being basically 100,000 plunder required. If this, if this mode lasts for six weeks, that's approximately 40 days. So 40 Renown for 40 days, it's about one Renown per day for you to reach the pace of the max Renown level before the, the event ends. Which seems like a pretty smooth, pretty slow commitment every day at the very least. 2,500 plunder every day is something you can get in a couple of games even, so it's not even that time consuming to be honest. But this is to show how far some players might even go when it comes to bragging rights in the game. It's especially funny to see Solar Power finally reaching the 1 million plunder mark and then what does he do, you know, to finally relax after reaching this feat of strength? play Plunderstorm for a few more hours, of course. But this is what we have for the irrelevant news of the day. So just for the few competitive ones left, since this one was in NA World First, we still have the EU First title available <laughs> to whoever is ill enough to go for this 1 million plunder achievement. But besides this, on this Thursday, we are now leaving each other. We are starting as usual, of course, the goodbyes by thanking all of the Patreon supporters for the contribution and the help to the growth of the channel, which can, of course, also be achieved by doing it for free, liking and commenting down below, as well as subscribing to the channel itself. Now, with these things out of the way, thank you guys again for watching, see you guys tomorrow, and in the meantime, ah, the sound of rain, it's always a welcome background whenever you're chilling at home.